This is the Rick Owens Dark Shadow Abstract Sneaker, or trainer, depending on where you're from. It retails for around £480, but I got it for roughly £400, so I was pretty happy with that. I've wanted to buy some Rick Owens pieces for quite a while now, but I've never really found anything that made me want to spend the money there and then, because let's face it, Rick Owens is not a cheap brand. That being said, as soon as I saw these, I had to have them. I mean, look at them. They're basically the classic Ramones, but with that abstract sole stuck on the bottom, so they sort of give you the best of both worlds of that chunky dad shoe sort of vibe, plus the classic Ramones look. It's got a cotton canvas upper, and that big chunky sole is made out of rubber, so it's a pretty durable shoe. That tongue is also stitched into the front there, so whenever you wear it, it's got that kind of creased or folded look, which I think looks so sick. It's also got that zip, which is super helpful for getting in and out of. And it's also a pretty good zip. It feels sturdy. It doesn't feel like it's gonna fall off or like be pulled off every time I use it. Moving on to sizing and comfort, I've owned them for a couple of months now, and I'd probably give them a solid seven out of 10 in terms of comfort. They're not the most comfortable shoes I've ever owned, but they're definitely not uncomfortable either. I did a bit of research beforehand, and it seemed like the general consensus was that I couldn't go wrong by just going true to size. So that's what I did. I'm normally a size 10 in the UK or 11 US or European 44. Uh, and that's what I went for. I went for a European 44. And honestly, I think I made the right choice. There's a little bit of room for my foot to move around in there, but they're not so spacious that it's sliding around like crazy. Uh, and as someone with generally pretty wide feet, it is a narrow shoe, but it's not so narrow that it's going to be uncomfortable. I can pretty much wear them anywhere or anytime. The only exception was I wore them once when I went for a walk for a couple of hours and towards the end of the walk my feet were getting pretty sore but they weren't unbearable. It wasn't absolutely horrendous. I didn't have blisters, nothing like that. It wasn't too bad. It's also worth mentioning that they're slightly raised at the heel so your foot doesn't sit completely flat on the ground. They're kind of like a boot but not as pronounced. That was a weird feeling to get used to but once you do you just don't think about it at all. Plus, with that little bit of extra height, it made me slightly taller than all of my friends, and as someone who never really made it into the six foot club, I was pretty happy with that. Overall, I'd say that they're definitely worth it, but after this bit, what I'm going to do is put up some footage of me wearing them with different trousers so you can see what they look like with different outfits, but generally I found that they go with pretty much everything that I wear. Lastly, I just wanted to say thank you for watching, I hope you found this video helpful, and if you've got any questions or comments or anything, just drop them in the comment box below, or hit me up on Instagram or whatever, I'll try and help you as best as I can. Also, if you could like and subscribe, that would be most appreciated. Anyway, thank you for watching once again. Make sure that you stick around so that you can see what these look like on feet.